Hello everybody and welcome back to our Stellaris 3.0 in the Nemesis DLC. Let's play. As a reminder, uh, this is a fairly heavily edited series focusing on the new mechanics uh, that have come out with the Nemesis DLC and the 3.0 update. So, picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, we just finished up a war with the Ganvia State for some reason, and I still haven't quite figured out why, and some of you have shared your thoughts in the comments. The AI decided it was going to declare war on me, even though its fleet was inferior to mine. Now, granted, granted, it was equivalent at the time, so maybe that's what the AI was running off of, equivalent, uh, even though we were a few hundred stronger uh, than their fleet. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure why they decided to declare war. So, we held them off at our station here, uh, and we actually pushed out here and destroyed their fleet at one point, but we've peaced out, we've humiliated them, um, so we're gonna have a white peace with them for a little while. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause and get the game rolling here. We'll bump it up to fast. Inevitably, we are gonna go to war with the Slipanor Coalition. Uh, that's a thing that is going to happen. I don't know when, uh, we're equivalent right now, technically speaking. We did just get destroyers, which is nice. Um, I kind of want to jump on them sooner rather than later. That being said, okay, they just flipped to inferior. That's weird. Oh, they're at war. They're currently at war, so their fleets are probably elsewhere if we wanted to grab some of these systems. Only thing is, having glanced at these systems, other than this guy, that's a planet, I don't know what's here, I don't know what's there, or what's there, if they've even claimed that. And, I mean, I guess the special resources, the crystals here, but there's not much there that I want, you know? Um, Keepers of the Ave Bren. Greetings to you and your odd kin. Oh yeah, this corner of the galaxy is packed. Absolutely packed. Let's clear out all this. Uh, what we need to do in this episode is continue to focus on building up our spy networks in these two empires. Um, oh, Space Storm already? Really? Really? Okay. Uh, disturbances, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Usually those hit when we're in a war. So when that's hit, when those hit, when we are at peace, I have no problem with that. Uh, ooh. Research from physics. Get a boost there. Let's take the cheapest here. Um, let's get Starbase FTL inhibitors. I think if we're going to go turtley, we're going to want to do that. So let's grab that. We're also about to finish up pop growth speed of plus 10% and planetary build speed. So that should help out our planetary development. And speaking of planetary development, um, I know we're well over our Empire Sprawl here. But, and, and maybe, and let me know guys in the comments. It is, a new, it is a new version, so maybe there it... it may, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Uh, maybe it is a little bit different um, in this version of the game, but uh, I feel like I need to go get that planet. And I feel like I need to go get that one as well. So we're going to go there, even though that is going to push us higher on the Empire Sprawl. And really quick, should have touched on this right when the episode started, uh, but wanted to say apologies for this video coming out a couple of days late. Uh, this was supposed to go out on Wednesday the 28th. Um, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't able to do it for that day. And then I got my second dose of my COVID vaccine, which really kicked my you-know-what, um, which is actually why it didn't come out. Wednesday. So, that's why this video has come out now, so I do apologize for that, but to make up for that, uh, there will be an episode of this series coming out today, which is Thursday the 29th, Friday the 30th, and then Saturday. Uh, Saturday, which I believe is May 1st. Yes, I can never remember which months have 30 days versus 31. Don't, don't laugh at me. Still haven't filled out all the clerk jobs, which is okay, I guess. Um, yeah, you know what? We gotta get that food. Um, additionally, I wanted to come over here to, nope, not policies, edicts. I want to switch away from Map the Stars since we're not really surveying right now. And I want to swatch, swatch, switch this over to research subsidies. So we'll get a nice little 10% boost, uh, to our research. It'll cost us a little bit extra credits, but eh, it's going to be all right. But we're going to claim that system and, oh, here we go. No world, 90%. This might end up being a food world. Go. 
Well, we're here. We might as well build those research stations. All right, pop growth speed plus 10% is done. Uh, fleet command limit, uh, naval capacity. Yes, we need to get that up so we can build up our navy. Maybe outdated, really. Okay, well, let's run an op then. Science division report success. Uh, yeah, let's let's run an op against these guys and get some updated information. Uh, a new faction founded, Institute of Higher Learning. Okay, done with planetary build speed of plus twenty five percent. Ah, uh, ooh, we could unlock gas extraction wells. Still 220 months for the frickin' living metal. Ooh, ah, uh, mining subsidy mineral for Ooh, yes. Yep, we can drop those. So this is gonna be similar to our energy grids. We can drop these on our planets and uh, get a boost out of that. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it boosts how much we get per job per district. I could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. Okay, this is a generator world, so let's keep generating. Um, you're a bureaucratic center. Let's let's upgrade your capital. Should give you the amenities you need and get the stability uh, back to a higher number. Intel is failing. Why? It's going up. Dropping a little bit. We're running an op, though. I don't... Did I not launch this? Might not have. Or it already ran, and I'm just doing it again for some stupid reason. Okay, anyways. Um, mining world. Let's get you... Well, the building we're going to build here is that mineral purification plant. But for now, uh, let's get another mining district going. Let me go, guys, down in the comments, and maybe I'll do this before the episode's over. But I feel like we need to jump on these guys while they're inferior. We've got the defensive stations to hold if they decide to get around us. Um, you know what? Let's start making some claims. Let's just start making some claims. And there. I think that'll be good for now. Um, make those claims. Uh, okay, let's do this one first. A surprise catch. Our spy master watching over the Genvy estate reports the sur the surprise successful acquisition of a new asset. Nice. Uh, and then a galactic community. As more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. We will join it with the nefarious, nefarious thought. We could rule the galaxy through this. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, we could. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Technologically superior. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, you boys. So now I've got three assets over here. All right, let's run something here. Like, let's let's do this. Let's let's really dive into these mechanics. Uh, start spark diplomatic incident. You know what? I want to see this go down. So let's. Who should we put? The clerk, the newscaster, or the bureaucrat? So subterfuge operation skill plus four. Uh, this is going to be a... what? This is a manipulation, okay? So we want somebody that's good at manipulation. So, newscaster here has a manipulation operation skill of plus four. So we want to assign that person to this. We're gonna launch it. Okay, cool. Let's do that. We just want to see how that plays out, to be a thousand percent honest. Let's get another bureaucratic or an admin office set up over here. Um, just to help that out a little bit. Because that's going to go up the minute we get that colony going. Excavation site here. Um, sign ship. Are you doing anything? You are not. You know what? Go ahead and excavate that site. That will be perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, shield. See, this would have been perfect on our borders. Shield nullification of 100%. We could have really made that work for a defensive point. Uh, unfortunately, all we got was this guy. Oh no, it is 100% shield nullification. Ah. Ah. Okay, so then what we need to do... ...is go to our defensive platforms. 
we need to create a new design. We're gonna go away from the missiles um, and let's go with a couple of mediums. What we want to run here is just all lasers. Our pioneers have made planet all lasers, all armor. Uh, we don't need the improved reactor. We got enough to tier two. That, 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 that's fine. Uh, birth of the galactic community. Great. But we are now in the galactic community. Uh, a scandal of our making. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, our agents in the Ganvia state report that the Operation Spark diplomatic incident was a resounding success. With some gentle persuasion and clever use of recording equipment, we were able to expose just how far one of their envoys had drifted from Ganvian norms on their assignment. Uh, this incident brought uncomfortable questions to the four, to the four, uh, maybe forefront, uh, and put Ganvian diplomatic corps in a difficult situation. So what happens here? Uh, the credibility of the Ganvian state diplomatic corps lies in tatters. Infiltration level changed by minus 10. Oh. Wait, we get minus 10 for that? Construction complete. Okay. Um, we're gonna call this the Science Division reports. Um, we're gonna call this the Armor Bust Buster. Armor Buster. There we go. The Glopgnorian Mercantile Guilds. Their trade league. Uh, they want to establish embassies. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can get from each other. And we finished FTL inhibitors. Uh, research alternatives. Output. Gravitic sensors would be good. It's like the research output. The research output post boost. Wow. I am unable to talk this morning and I apologize for that. Holy crap. All right, build research base. All right, I don't need to know every time somebody joins, like honestly. Uh, is it like what? Control right click to not see that anymore? I think. Uh, third base report. So this is one of those archeological sites. I believe the one in the Elix system. Um, the translator appears to have been recorded by Uxla, the third mate. First mate. Ithar committed suicide by ripping off his own antennas yesterday. Technician, second class. Uh, Masiva declared herself empress shortly afterwards, but food riots forced her into exile on the lower decks. Situation very bleak. Cannibalism widespread. Uh, Pervix has turned entirely magenta after his lower abdomen exploded yesterday. Should be dead, but is not. Now worshipped as a deity by Gamma Shift. Curious. Mining world, guess what you're getting? You are getting mineral purification plant. Oh, all right. The bowel organism. Uh, decoded ancient data crystals have been found at the dig site, chronicling the Gruner's military exploits. While most are local and of little interest, several volumes detail Grunar's first encounter with an alien species, referred to as the Baol organism. Uh, a little more can be gleaned about the Baol at this point, save that they were a massive plantoid species and had many colonies seated among the stars. Keep digging. Rivalry, okay. Can I declare you a rival? Or we already have. All right, I've already declared you a rival. You're still inferior. Oh, what I wouldn't give to not have a white piece with you right now. I kind of want to sabotage you. Um, espionage. What can we do? Here come to... Ooh, we have to get up to 40 on that. I'd like to steal a tech from them. From privateers. I think we'll hold off. I think we'll hold off for now. Okay, so. Yeah, no. I say this every series that I'm in. I would like to do more with this. Uh, the addicts. 
company. Uh, Megacorp wants to establish embassies. Okay. I'm fine with that. And I wish we could... Uh, is there an edict? No. You know what? I'm going to run this recycling campaign. Just for a little while. Save us on that. Alright. Uh, the Biol Organism. Uh, Data Crystals recorded that the Gurunar waged war against the Biol, uh, desiring that the plentiful... Uh, that the plentiful resources purportedly found on their planets, a set of system coordinates has been successfully extracted from one such record. Our archaeologists are uploading the planet's location to our system now. Ooh. New sit rep. Then it's now in session. What is we voting on? Uh, Pend Galactic Recycling Initiative. Yes, I... Uh... That's fine. Okay, what uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, situation log. Oh, I forgot about the crash starship. Crap. Okay. Is this? No, that's not it. Ah, nope, this is it. Okay, track on map. The research the project. Um, situation log, stop tracking, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we need to do all this other stuff. Okay, this scientist will go around and do some of these projects that I honestly completely forgot about uh, in between the last uh, the last couple of episodes. Complete. That science picked up. I'd like to get this back up higher. It is only 2%, 4%, 6 and 6 across the board. Uh, so I don't... <sighs> I'm not too terribly concerned with it, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, so now we're building robots. That's that's going to help us on our capital here. Um, can I clear this? I can. Let me clear that well. We're not really building anything. Anything else we can clear here? No, not not yet. All right, naval cap plus thirty. Good stuff. Starbase capacity plus two. Special project. Terribly complete. worried about it. Um, society research clear tie blocker planetary capitals. All right, former biocom colony, the Baron. Uh, despite the promise of riches suggested in the ancient Gruner data crystals recovered from Medkaresh, uh, it is a dry, barren world void of atmosphere. Fortunately, geological scans have revealed a near endless trove of fossilized remains deep in the planet's sedimentary record. Among them is a plantoid species most likely to have been the Biol, uh, as it is the only one identified in possession of the neurological structures required for sapience. A targeted excavation should uncover more information. Um, we did those designs, completely forgot about it, but, uh, we need to... I'm gonna have to re... I'm gonna have to pay for all this, aren't I? Can I not just hot swap them out? Let's just get rid of all of them. Uh, and I want the armor buster, even though it is more expensive gonna be super effective in here with the 100% shield nullification. All right, basic strike craft are done. That a crystal plants wouldn't be terrible. Don't need it yet though. Better star bases. Oh, I think the right move is the better star base. Let's let's grab that. Let's let's hope that's the right. Uh, let's hope that's the right move. I think. We're gonna be in a, in a position at some point to uh, to be aggressive. Let me pull you back. 
I don't think that time is quite yet. I could build out this fleet even more. Let's double the number of destroyers. I don't think I need to throw them in there quite yet. But we'll have them queued up and ready to go when the time comes. Uh, research station output plus 10%. Chemical plants, better hyperdrive, disruptors. Let's get better hyperdrives. Space storm finally dissipates. Good, good stuff. Two of them were built out. Yeah, they'll be super effective in this system. Um, the plan would be when we go to war with these guys. Let them crash on that station. Or, hell, even this station, really. Let's get the four built out over there. That's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, let them crash into the station with our fleet there to back it up. Completely wreck their fleet. Uh, and then push out. I want to claim more systems. Um, I feel like if we do, though... And we win the war, it's gonna screw us on Empire Sprawl. I mean, there's things we can do to offset it. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... But... Uh, happy... Alright, let's get more consumer goods and alloys going. Ooh, amenities is terrible. Nothing I can do about it unless I did a city district. Does this kick out some amenities? No, absolutely not. Alright, you know what? We're going to go with the city district here to get some amenities going. Here, we're going to upgrade you. Going to take care of some of the housing. And then we're going to drop an industrial base down there. Yeah, let's do that. And so far with the pop growth system and buildings and stuff like that, it definitely feels different. It doesn't feel quite the same. It definitely feels different. Um, I don't know why. I mean, okay, fine. I know why it feels a little bit different, um, but I can't quite, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on what, what is causing that difference specifically out of all the changes. Um, so yeah, let me know how long or hell are you used to the new pop growth system um or are you still figuring it out like what what do you have going on like let me know that down in the comments military mass extinction thick layers of ash and uh a notable mass extinction event in the geological record coincide with material previously extracted from grunar data crystals suggesting the grunar firebombed the planet with a gelling incendiary roughly seven million years ago widespread deforestation of the planet's surface disrupted local ecosystems, and the lack of oxygen fixing vegetation gradually depleted the planet's atmosphere over the next 60,000 years. Colony immediately needs job. Of course. Of course. Okay. Do I go industrial immediately? No. Go to the city district just to kick it off. What I used to do in previous versions, hopefully that still kind of applies uh, in in this particular version of the game. Infiltration's up to 46. We can attempt to steal a technology. <laughs> Energy credits need to be better. Construction complete. Kicking out 13 there. Uh, governing ethics shift. Okay. Let's see if this fixes that. At least fixes the job. Fixes some of the amenities. Screw it. I, I, I guess let's drop a hollow theater. Sure. 
Um, you're going to be a mining world. Yeah, consumer goods. And let's keep kicking it out. What we got to do. Okay. Uh, crashed starship. Uh, patrol log. Officer Gilgam detected crashed vessels on 55-23-X. Moved to investigate. Vessel identified as the Ravink, a Class P modular freighter. A single survivor in critical condition was recovered from the wreckage. Identity confirmed as Pirvax Bootswain's Boatswain's mate. Remaining crew either perished in crash or turned on each other shortly before our arrival. As per standard protocol, I am leaving this log here and registering the Ravink as a protected gravesite. End recording. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Where are we at on this? <laughs> 20. Okay. Um, we need to build our fleet out. I mean, oh God, we got so much shit to do. We got so much to do. Um, let's, let's get you reinforced. That's going to be fine. We had a couple ships building out there. Um, city district should handle that. At least one of the jobs. Now we need to fill another one. I think this is going to have to be food here. Let's get that ag district. Although, what does... Okay, district is one. Okay. That's fine. Just build the food. That'll be good. Uh, that should be coming online here in a minute. Should be okay. Ah, uh, here we go. The bile organism. Severely exemplary biofossils have been recovered, revealing the long lost species to have been a hive mind. Billions of plantoid units working together as a whole, like the leaves and roots and branches of a tree. Uh, Dendrochronology suggests individual bile specimens had lifespans in the hundreds of years. Fascinating. At some point, we need to do something with these artifacts. Xenophobia, ethics, attraction. Yep. Alright, from beneath the waves, uh, the colonizers on uh, on Darnium Prime regularly explore the planet in hopes of finding more resources to help with day-to-day -day life. A recent expedition to the North Pole has now unveiled a large object in the bottom of the ocean, an alien battle cruiser. Hell yeah, let's try to salvage that thing. Oh, that's 50 months worth of... Yeah, we'll come back to that. Let... Let's, let's come back to this. We'll wait a little bit. Um... Let's at least see what the next text that come up for for this is. Um, but I want to finish those star holds. Definitely want to finish those. War games. Fleet command limit increased by 20. Admiral level cap by 2. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be fine. Ooh, it is a... I don't know if I've met everybody, but if that's all empty, that's BS. <laughs> If everybody's over here, it'll make it fun. Um, oh, United Nations of Earth. Hello. How are you? You're your polar opposite. We're going to come kill you at some point. Yep, that's a thing. Okay. Uh, we are maxed out on what? In yeah. Let's do this. Let's make more claims. we do go to war, let's just chunk all this away from them. Just all of this. Again, I'm surprised. Is it part of the intelligence system that I can't see these? 
Or have they literally not claimed those? Have they just skipped them? I mean, I could totally see it. Ask her, it will claim you too. If we're going to go to war with them, we're really going to go to war with them. Uh, another scientist has died. That's unfortunate. Mark of Genius, though. Yes, please. All right. A Grunar a data crystal. Coordinates describing the location of another former bio colony have been extracted from a shattered Grunar data crystal. Perhaps this planet will boast some of the riches sought after the bio's ancient enemies. New sit rep. Okay. Um, let's see where that's at. Oh, literally one system over. Okay, you. Research the project. And we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.